In college, I purchased a Cadillac. Now, it wasn't necessarily my first choice of a vehicle, but I had plans for the car, so I bought it. And it was a very comfortable riding vehicle. Cadillacs are known to be cars of luxury. Cars with a distinct value. Now when we think about the different possessions that we have, God can give us tremendous material things that we can enjoy. And see, for those who go to church and can park a nice vehicle, such as a Cadillac, It can make someone feel like they have something very valuable. They can step out of their vehicle and just take a hard look at what they have and then go inside of the church building and seek to enjoy worship services. See, God wants us to look closer at being his treasured possession. And this is more important than just having a Cadillac parked in front of a church building or even our homes and other places. where we can go. Now, Moses write in the book of Exodus, in chapter 19, verse 5, and he speaks on the thoughts that if we obey God's commands, we can be treasured possessions. Now, he's talking more with to the Israelites, but it's still can be referenced in our society today. God does want us to be his treasure, possession. Heaven was formed for his possession to be in it. To be there with God and his son and those who are eagerly Seeking through living in faith and obedience in his word. Now to fully reference this verse, Moses said that if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, my promise, then out of all nations you will be my treasured possession although the whole earth is mine. And think about all the billions of people that have grown or lived in this world. But only a few will find everlasting life. God's plan is for you to find everlasting life. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. God's special possession that you may declare praises of him who calls you out of darkness into his wonderful light. God is light and in him there is no darkness. These possessions that we have 
They're not fitting for everlasting life. They're not part of God's kingdom. Out of all of God's creation, man and woman are his most treasured possession when we live for him. All of the other things that we find great value in, it can't compare to what God has. The time is now to cut loose of the things that are causing you to stumble. Things that are causing you to look more than once. Think about that Cadillac at the church. And it's nice and pretty, but it's not enough. It may capture your attention. It may memorize others. To look, to want. Or in some cases, covet what others have as possessions. The Lord wants us to look at him. And then he wants to look back at us. To reveal that we are his treasured possession. The time is now. Anchor your soul to the gospel so you can find everlasting life in his kingdom.